Hello queens and welcome back. It is Queen of Queen Shimi and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my final curl kit for 2017. You guys, can you believe that 2017 is literally about to be gone in like little under like what? Seven days or so? Like 10 days? Like the new year is around the corner and to think that we have now come around to another year of curl kit and you guys i'm just excited i'm so happy for this month's curl kit because we got some new products this month that i have never tried before and some from a brand that we've already been introduced to this year so let's get right into our curl kit so for starters i just want to start out with this cute holiday card that we received from dino and heather you guys the founders of curl kit and this family is just so freaking cute so just thank you guys so much for this amazing opportunity to even be partnering with you guys to even be a vip curl kit affiliate you guys and i just love dino and heather and their family is just so sweet and then on the back they just had their family photos of them and their boys so this is so cute and it, to me it's just such a personable touch especially for the holidays and also to a way of just saying thank you from the bottom of their hearts i feel to the subscribers so i love this personal touch and actually that's what made me really fall in love with the subscription when i initially signed up was their other holiday card that i still have from the year before so you guys i love it it's just such a nice personable touch so thank you guys so much for that all right then of course we always get our curl life booklet this month's theme says redefining you with holiday magic and y'all she is slaying with these braids yes are they braids yeah they're fellow braids i believe and oh my gosh she is slaying so beautiful and of course on the inside it includes the editor's note from heather as well as a little bit more information on all the products that you receive in your actual curl kit and then as well as usually introduce some form of influencer in here and this month her name is Shanice Almond and her blog post I'm assuming this is called what no perm lol breaking up with my relaxer so I thought that was neat and I actually did read that so you guys if you have time definitely check that out and actually check out your curl life booklet because I love reading these they are so pep with some so, information. let's just start right with, of course, Dax for Naturals. We was actually introduced to them, um, yeah, it was actually introduced to them a couple of months ago when they did a takeover for one of the curl kits, you guys, and I fell in love instantly, and this month we got their styling pomade, and it contains broccoli seed and carrot, oh, I'm sorry, no, broccoli seed and passion fruit oil. So that's what that contains and I just love this product so this one says you just put a fingernail size amount of the styling cream into the palm of your hand and rub together and apply it to either dry or damp hair and comb through and then it says for stronger hold use more product and comb through for an even look so I did actually try this one out you guys and I do like the consistency of it even though it says it's a pomade it's not sticky like one um but the way that it works, it actually reminds me um, of the Soul Town Clothes. It says Rock You Out Twisting Butter or whatever. This texture reminds me of that. And the hold itself. So yeah, um, I have not tried this on freshly washed hair, but I have tried this on old hair. Um, hence why my hair is pulled back in a blend because I use this to actually refresh my hair for this week. So yeah, I really did like this styling pomade from Dax for Naturals. And I can't wait to actually try this on freshly washed hair. So sticking with Dax for Naturals, we also received their combing cream. And this one's enriched with broccoli seed oil. And it says on here, let me see. Okay, it says for a styling aid, apply a small amount to tile dried hair. Start at the ends and work your way up. Scrunch your ends and then style as usual. Um, it says for added shine and control um, for frizz, apply directly to dry hair. So that's pretty good. So if you just need something to actually touch up your hair and just refresh it to just tighten the frizz and give it some shine, this product is actually pretty good for that. And again, this is a combing cream. And when I saw combing cream, I just thought of it as pretty much being like a leave-in or like a form of a detangler. So that's why I assumed this product was, but you can actually use this for a styler. So um, this one is a little bit lighter than the styling pomade itself, even though the containers do feel different in weight. But definitely, definitely, I would use the styling pomade for a styler, and then I would probably go in with the combing cream for just a leave-in. So I would probably just use these two in conjunction if I was to actually do the lot method, and I probably would just avoid using the oil 
all together so yes I did use the styling pomade which I really did like and I have yet to try the combing cream but I definitely can't wait because I really do like that for naturals and I really do like it because it's perfect for its low porosity natural lisa so definitely check them out you guys online so this next um, brand I'm familiar with and it's called Novix you guys and we actually received some Novix products early on this year that I used and that some of them I actually hadn't used but this one I did use and this is their bamboo sprout um, leave-in conditioner yeah so this is the bamboo sprout leave-in conditioner and it says here growth and strength treated nourished and shiny hair and this is a 3.88 ounce container and I really do like it you guys this is formulated out of Brazil and um, I really do like it it is a very creamy consistency it does give you hair definition and a lot of slip so if I was to use this on freshly washed hair oh man I can just only imagine how this was have actually felt on my hair so I really did like it I really did like the texture of it and it worked well in conjunction with the actual styling pomade from Dax for Naturals I use this together and I have bomb results. I really did have definition. So again, I just use these two in conjunction to refresh my hair. But you guys, this leave-in treatment, I mean, I'm sorry, this leave-in conditioner from Novex in the Bamboo Sprout collection is awesome. I really do like it. Um, definitely check them out. Um, I'm pretty sure you can purchase them online. I have not seen Novex in stores anywhere, I don't believe. But yeah, everything that I'm sharing here with you guys today, I will actually leave a list down below so that you'll be able to actually go ahead, research it, check it out, and even make a purchase. <laughs> so we will actually got two of these. I'm so happy because y'all have too much hair to even be playing with just one, you know, sample. So yeah, I'm so happy I got that. The next one is from a brand called Ashte. And I've heard of this brand before. I've actually seen them on Instagram. I come across a lot of brands through Instagram, you guys. And this is called Ashte Moisture Plus Leave-In Conditioner. And I haven't even opened these yet. And I didn't want to use them because, again, I haven't used them before. So if I was, I would probably use them on freshly washed hair. And that's how I typically try a lot of products that are brand new are on freshly washed hair. And this one says it's designed to add an abundance of moisture to natural, chemically treated, or overstressed hair. It is an excellent humectant for all hair types. Hmm. So it just says here, massage a small amount of the Moisture Plus on hair before blow drying or setting the hair. Can be used daily on wet or dry hair. So you will use this pretty much for if you're going to use any heat on your hair. So I'll probably use these with um, some like styling mousse or something like that if I was to actually be putting my hair into some curl formers or something like that so that I could have some extra moisture to my hair while after applying the mousse. So yeah, that's how I would actually use these. So I'm familiar with this brand. I'm um, not familiar enough to where I'm familiar with the products, but I'm familiar with the name and actually knowing that they are a hair care brand. So I'm actually excited to try them out. If you guys have any recommendations or if you have tried these out, um, have tried this brand out in particular, definitely comment down below and let's get the conversation going. The next item that we got you guys is of course from Quimet Biologics and we actually um, received them too early on in the year a couple of times. And I like Quimet Biologics. Um, this is their Cocoa Tree Detangling Gee and I like using this for my natural hair you guys. You guys. And then we also received the Amla and Amla and Olive Heavy Cream. And this one moisturizes dry coarse hair. So yeah, so we got a sample of each and I have used both of these. Um, I'm actually going to send this one to my mom because I've given her this one. But she says it's too heavy for her hair. But she likes how it moisturizes her hair but it's too greasy. So I'm going to send her this one because Amla and Olive is a little bit lighter than actual cocoa butter and ghee butter. So yeah, so um, I do like this one so I'm going to keep it for myself. And yeah, so mom, if you're watching this, it's coming to you soon. So yeah, you guys, but I like Quimet Biologics. You can definitely find them online, and you can also find them in Sephora as well. So they're a pretty good brand. They're not expensive, even though they are in Sephora, um, but they are a little bit on the higher price range, and hence why they are in Sephora. But they are a really good brand for if you have natural hair. <laughs> but they are a really good brand if you have natural hair, you guys. So definitely just go into Sephora, try them out, and yeah, you might purchase them and then you may not. But I like Quimet Biologics. Again, I'll have all the links listed down and below. And the final item that we got in our December 2017 curl kit is the ORS Curls Unleashed Co-Wash and Go Get the Look Style Pack. 
Now, earlier this year, um, I think we had gotten two of these, but they were not the co wash and go one. There was something else. I think it was like a it was something else. I think it was just like a regular wash and go or something. But it comes with the hair milk, the rinse out conditioner, and the leave-in conditioning cream. So I guess you would just use all of this together and then you would achieve the per perfect co-wash and go. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try this out together to see how my hair will actually react to it. Because again, um, yeah, looking at the package, these are the ones that I have not actually tried out. Now, I do like ORS. I love their olive oil collection. Y'all, when I was a relaxed girl, that's the only thing I would let legit touch my hair. So yes, I love ORS. They're one of my other holy grail, you know, they're one of my other holy grail brands that I really recommend for if you're even re relaxed, natural, text natural, it doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, I love ORS. They're really, really good. So yeah, so again, this is the Curls Unleashed Co-Wash and Go style pack <laughs> and i think this is just so cool because it just takes all the guesswork out use it all together and then bam you got your co-wash so you guys i hope you have enjoyed 2017's curl kit unboxings you guys i have really enjoyed everything that we received this year some products i have tried some of them i have gifted away and then some of them i probably would never use again <laughs> so that's what i like about the subscription service because you never know which products they may revisit again and then also too they usually feature at least one to two items throughout each curl kit so they try to keep it you know changed up but they they try to keep it consistent as well so that's what i love about curl kit they again introduce you to those new brands and these new products that are being released as well as some of the you know og ones that we just have loved and adorned from over the years so you guys i hope you have enjoyed all of my unboxings again from curl kit for 2017 if you're wanting to see any of my previous unboxings i'll have the link listed down below to that particular playlist so that way you can just get your life on all the unboxings from this year and if you're interested in even subscribing and you can save 10 percent off of your first curl kit by using the link listed down below as well okay thank you guys so much for rocking out with me this year you guys and i will see you soon queens